I think we're live. I am not so sure. We're live. Hi, guys. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to get this intro going real quick, and then we're going to wait a couple minutes um, for everyone to log on to start. Uh, my name is Samantha Hebner. I'm a dancer with the with the NWA Ballet Theater, and I'm doing a workout today. We're going to do a strength day, so take some time and get a bag with some heavy things in it and a couple bottles. I still have some setting up to do, so take your time. Um, we've got a couple minutes anyway. We're live. Yay, Ruby. All right, get, to get a, we want a backpack or something with, with heavy battery, or sorry, battery. Sorry, I'm looking at my battery percentage. A heavy bag with some things in it, um, a backpack or whatever, and um, uh, two water bottles filled, filled with water. So that's what we want to do today. I'm still getting some things set up, so bear with me because some things are just not working so well this morning. And that is okay. For those of you that are currently on my live video, if you could type down at the bottom how the picture is, if you can hear me okay. Um, I'm trying a, a new source today. <laughs> Okay, just getting some things set up. Okay, can't see the timer. Cool. Yeah, if you guys are currently watching, please let me know if you can see all right, um, if you can hear me okay, if things are working. Mm, we're going to put this over here, actually. Yeah, take some time, guys. Like I said, it's a little pixelated, but we can hear you fine. Great. Um, like I said, this is a strength day today, so we're going to want a backpack um, filled with a couple books or whatever you can find just to stuff it up and make it a little bit heavy. And then we also want two water I still have to go get those things, so take a minute. Um, I'll just keep talking. Welcome, welcome. If you're just now joining, we're going to need a backpack filled with a couple heavy things, whatever you can find, and we're going to need two water bottles. So I'm still working on getting set up. We're going to wait a couple more minutes for people to join, and then we will get started. Good. Here's my backpack. <laughs> cool. Let me go ahead and... Just get everything going. Cool, and yep, like I said, a backpack and two water bottles. That's what we're gonna need today.
Okay, sorry for that little delay. Got my water bottles here, got my backpack. Let's see, and it is 10.39. We'll give it another minute or so. If you're still there, hang on. We're gonna get started here any second, I promise. What kinds of things do I have in my backpack? I have, um, so it's my actually my dance bag that I'm using. It's a little backpack. So I've got some of my skirts and my clothes in there. I put in some extra point shoes. And then I was putting things around, like I've got um, a couple little small card games that I put in there. I put in one of my mom's candles. I put in um, my, little, my little journal, my uh, little diary thing. Um, and I put in some of my cat's toys and my cat treats that I have for my kitty Walter, who is here with us today. Oh, you know what? He didn't want me picked up. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I put in my little bag, but you can put in um, anything you want. You know, it can be little bits of food from your kitchen or um, you could fill up some more water bottles and put those in whatever you have. But I think it's time to get started. I don't know if you guys can see too well. We're going to do our best. Um, whatever we can do, right? So today's workout, like I said, is a strength day workout. So we are going to be um, doing a little bit of weight stuff. It's not going to be cardio based. It's not going to be hit. But we still definitely want to be tired and sweaty at the end of this. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do the same warm-up that we always do. And then we have 14 different exercises today. Usually we have nine, but today we have 14. We're going to do 35 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest always. Um, we're going to do three sets of each exercise, and we're only going to do it once through. So we're not going to be coming back and repeating them. So once we finish that third set, you won't ever see that exercise again. Um, so yeah, 35 seconds of work. 20 seconds of rest, three sets at each, and we're just gonna do one time through. So um, exercise number one, we are doing, we have an option here, either sprinter speed, single leg deadlifts, or a weighted Romanian deadlift. So if you don't have a bag or a backpack or anything, you are going to, making sure you guys can see me, we're gonna come all the way back, and on one leg for the whole 35 seconds, we are just going to touch the floor, hinging at our hip, sending our, non-supporting leg back behind us and really making sure we're hinging and sticking our butt towards the back wall, keeping this knee at a soft bend. We don't want to lock it out. We want it with a soft bend. Once you feel that stretch in your hamstring, pull back up. You can either do um, single leg speed once, or you can grab your back, hold it in front of you, and do Romanian deadlifts, which means you can just have your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, sending hips to the back wall, keep your weight in your heels, and that way it is a weighted deadlift. If you want, you can even do a staggered deadlift where you take one leg and you just prop it behind you, no real weight on it, but we do deadlifts like that. Again, always with a soft bend in that working or in that standing leg. That's just exercise number one. I know it's a lot of information. After that, we're doing Russian twists. So we're back down on the floor and we are going to try and keep your feet up off the floor. If you need to, you can have them down, but twisting side to side, for an extra challenge, hold your water bottle. Number three, we are doing a push-up with a rotation and twist of the arm at the top. So we're down here. If you need to, you can put your um, knees down. No big deal. But we're going to go push-up, big circle, big circle. Push-up, big circle, big circle. That's exercise number three. Exercise number four, we're going to do jackknives. So again, we're gonna come down onto our back. Some people call these V-ups, but we're down flat on our back, touching your toes, and then back down onto your back. So your leg and your torso come up at the same time. Exercise number four. Exercise number five is going to be the spine sub scap retraction. So we're going to flip over onto our stomach, and we're gonna do almost like a Superman 
and then bring your elbows down. I don't know if you guys can see me. Up, bring your elbows down, pulling your lats down, squeezing those shoulder blades together, bringing those arms forward again, and back down. Up, elbows down, everything squeezed, back up and down. Whew. That one's a good one. Um, after that, we've got a moving plank. So then we will be in a plank position on the floor, a high plank, and we're gonna go elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, trying to alternate which elbow you're dropping down on each time so that way we keep it equal. After that, we are going to do hip, uh, hip thrusters. So again, holding your weight, you're gonna want your backpack for this one. And you can either do it on the floor, put your backpack on your hips, and do hip thrusters from there, or you can use a coffee table or a chair and get a little bit of an elevated surface. Whew. Hip thrusters, after that we've got flutter kicks. So we're gonna come back down onto our back, chest up off the ground, feet not too far away from the ground, and we're going to flutter our feet for a whole 35 seconds. If you need to, you can keep your head on the ground and just do flutter kicks that way. If you're starting to notice a pattern, every other exercise is an ab exercise. Woo! Um, after that, we've got front and lateral raises, so you're gonna want your water bottles for this. Holding your water bottles, we are going to raise forward, and then raise side, and then raise forward, and raise side. We don't wanna to go too high, not above our shoulders, just to hold, just, just at shoulder height. Forward and side, forward and side. After that, we've got hollow hold punches. So again, coming back down onto your back. We're going to do a hollow hold. So almost like a V sit, but a little more rounded. And we're just gonna punch the ceiling. Just to keep it active, keep your mind drafted so that we're not thinking too hard. Whew. Um, after that, the hollow hold punches, we've got curtsy lunges. And don't worry about remembering all these, it's just so that you're familiar with them later. I will cue you. After hollow hip punches, we've got curtsy lunges. So again, holding that backpack. We're going to keep our feet parallel, first of all. Take one leg and cross it behind. And almost a, like a squat or a lunge. Step and curtsy. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna alternate every single time. Try to keep your weight in your heels. Stick your booty back. Really feel that in your hamstring. Whew. Then we've got downward dog toe touches. So we're going to be here in a down dog. And we're going to go plank to right hand, left toe touch, plank, left hand, right toe touch. And we're going to alternate in between, keeping that core engaged the entire time. Coming back to a plank in between each toe touch. Last two exercises, we got a neutral grip chest press. Take your water bottles or your backpack. I'm going to use my backpack, but you can use either. Neutral grip means that our palms are facing each other. So they're not out and they're not up. They are facing each other. As much as you can, I'm gonna hold my backpack quite like this. Coming down, keeping my elbows in towards my sides. And I'm just gonna press my backpack up and down. It's not gonna be heavy, it's not gonna be all that hard. But that's kind of what we're going for. Just a little bit to get that, those muscles activated. Last but not least, we're going to do crab kicks because I thought this was fun. So you can either do this on your, with your hands on the couch or on a coffee table. You can do it on the floor too if you'd like. But we're going to do crab kicks. We're in that crab position. And we're just going to kick our feet up like the, um, the tray pack dance or the Russian dance in the Nutcracker. That is our whole workout for today. I know that was a lot of information. Bear with me. Um, I actually need to get some music started. So take a minute and get that backpack filled a little bit heavier. Um, try and find anything you can squish in there and get your water bottles ready. Some music for us all. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer them as we go along. Whew. I am out of breath just from demonstrating that. Yep, take some time. I got to find some music. Um, I know, sorry, I'm a little bit flustered today. Oh, happy Tuesday. Happy Cinco de Mayo. 
that's kind of exciting. Take some time. I know we're getting a late start to all this. Let's see. I think we're going to use. Hmm. Let's use this one today. All right, skip the ads. We're going to get started here in just a second. All right. more seconds guys just getting the volume adjusted okay let's get started i'm going to start this timer like i said we're going to do the same warm-up as always we're going to start with high knees and punches in less than 30 seconds Woo. So let's get ready 20 more seconds just to get ready just to get set up there, that's good. 12 more seconds. We're going to start with high knees and punches. Three, two, one, here we go. High knees and punches. This is just the warm up, nothing too crazy, but this is your cardio for the day. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and jumping jacks. Try not to hit your ceiling fan with this. Woo! Next we got, we're just going to open our hips, go into a squat. Here we go. Wide knees, put your elbows or your hands up your knees. We're just going to open it up, stretch it out. We're going to go onto into a plank for mountain climbers in three, two, one. Here we go, mountain climbers. This is just the one up. This is a little bit of cardio we got for the day. Woo! Keep it up. We're going to go flat on our back in three, two, one. On your back, twist those knees side to side. Twisting those knees side to side. Woo! Next, we're going to do hip thrusters. We're going to practice that movement. So keep staying on your back, driving those heels into the ground. Squeezing your glutes to the top. Good, guys. We're going to come up and stretch our hamstrings. Three, two, one. Just stretch your hamstrings. Woo. Whatever you need to do, stretch that out real good there. Three, two, one. Jump twist. Yeah, stay nice and strong. A couple more seconds there, then we're going to go into butt kicks. Running in place, butt kicks. Three, two, one. Yeah, just keeping your butt. In five seconds, we're going to go into burpees, and that's the last little bit of our warm-up. And just regular burpees, 20 seconds. Keep that up. After this, we get a little 30 second break and then we're gonna start our workout. Keep up those burpees. All right, guys, we're resting. We're gonna go into those single leg speed deadlifts or the double leg weighted deadlifts. So if you don't have a weight, remember, just one leg, soft bend in the knee, touch the floor, come up. Trying to get some speed in there, but also some stability. Or if you have a backpack, holding that backpack, go forward until you feel a stretch. We're coming back up, squeezing through your glutes. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 35 seconds. Really pull from your hamstrings and not from your low back. Pull from those hamstrings. Keep your weight in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. The whole time. That's how much weight is in your heels. 
Ten more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, we got two more sets. So depending on how that felt, we got a 20 second rest right now. Depending on how that felt, you can change whatever you need. For me, I think I'm gonna go into that staggered single leg deadlift and do one set on my right leg and do my third set on my left. We're gonna do those deadlifts again in four, three, two, one, here we go. So I'm doing a staggered one because it's a little bit more challenging for me. But I'm trying to keep my weight in my heel and not a lot of weight in my back foot. And I'm targeting my right hamstring right now. My front leg. 15 more seconds. Woo! Now doing it on one leg definitely makes it a little bit harder for me. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and the rest. Good guys. Last set of deadlifts. We got one more set and then we're done with those. So switch legs. Or if you're already switching legs, figure out when halfway point is and do half and half again. Whatever you need to do to feel that that pull, that burn in your hamstring, we're going in three, two, one, one. Woo. Good job. Yeah, practicing that hinge movement from your hips, keeping that flat back. I'm only going as far as to when I feel a pull in my hamstring, and when I feel that, I pull and I come back up while trying to make sure that I'm not using my lower back or anything. Five more seconds. And rest. Good guys, next we've got those Russian twists. So we're going to go ahead and sit on the ground, grab your water bottle. You can even use your backpack if you want. Mine's a little too heavy for that, so I'm going to use your water bottle, or you don't have to use anything at all. We're going to do those Russian twists, so feet up off the ground, and we want to at least touch the ground on each side. We're going in three, two, one, here we go. Woo. Keep that stomach sucked into your spine. Less than 20 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, stay strong. Keep those feet up off the ground if you can. Make sure you're touching the ground on each side. And try and don't just let yourself swing, but contract your stomach. And relax. 20 seconds rest. We're going to do that again, all right? If you guys are just now joining, don't worry about it. Come on in, join us, grab a water bottle and a backpack, something kind of heavy. We're doing a Russian twist right now. We're going in seven, six, five. We're going to do the same thing two more times. Three, two, one, here we go. Good. We got 35 seconds of Russian twist. Keep it up, guys. Stay strong, stay strong. 17 more seconds. Good guys, eight more seconds. Keep it up. Woo! Abs should be on fire. Music will come back. Oh, it's still there. It's just got quiet. Good, and rest. 20 seconds of rest. We're going to do that one more time. Russian twist for one more set. That'll be our third set of Russian twists, and then we're not coming back. But like I said, there's plenty more in this workout. We do them every other set. Woo! And four, three, Russian twist, two, one, here we go. Really try and not use your momentum, don't just swing side to side, but really squeeze those abs, especially at the peak of the twist. Ooh. If your hip flexors are kind of bugging you, cross your ankles and turn your knees out just a little bit. Sometimes it helps me relieve my hamstrings or my hip flexors. Couple more seconds, guys. Stay strong. Last set of Russian twists. Let's go. Let's go. And rest. Good job, guys. Now we're going to do that push up with a twist. So we're going to go 
as as full of a push up as you can do, keeping those elbows in quite narrow. When we come up from that push up, right arm circle, left arm circle, like you're swimming. Yeah, so we want to go back to front and not front to back. We're going in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Push up and twist. Try and keep those elbows in when you're doing that arm circle. Make sure that you're not twisting your hips too much. You want your hips to stay as square as possible. Push up with a twist. Push up with a twist. Good, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, guys. We're going to do that two more times. If you want, you can do it on a, on a coffee table or a couch or a piece of furniture if you want a little bit extra challenge. Um, or if you can't quite do a full push up yet with your knees straight behind, you want to do it safe. So keeping those elbows in, we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Yep, wherever you want to do it. Woo. For me, doing a push up with straight legs, like a regular push up on the ground, has always been a challenge for me. So I try and find other ways to do it to build strength. So I'll do it on a coffee table at an incline. Or, you know, I'll have one leg straight and one leg bent, and I'll try and figure out ways that work for me. But we're going to do this for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, we're going to do that one more time. Last set of the twist. We really want this to be hard. We don't have a lot of chest exercises today, and that chest press is going to be a little bit easier later on. So try and make this as difficult as we can. Woo! Three, two, one, here we go. Staying strong, every movement is controlled. Woo! Less than fifteen. Good guys. A couple more seconds. Make those last few push ups count. And rest. All right, guys. Next, we're going to go into those jackknives or those V ups, whatever you want to call them. So remember, we're going to be on our back, flat on our back, as best we can. We're coming up, feet and arms and torso and legs at the same time. That's what we're going to do. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Jackknives. 35 seconds of jackknives, really engaging your entire abdominal wall, the upper abs, the lower abs, the obliques, we want everything to squeeze. Don't throw yourself up into a V, but pull yourself up into a V. Like I said, everything goes at the same time. Woo! Couple more seconds here. And rest. Oh, I'm glad that timer was beeping because I couldn't quite see it. We're going to do that two more times. Same thing that we've been doing the whole workout. Woo! And we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Jackknives. Woo! -hoo. Lots of abs today. If you can't do both your legs and your arms at the same time, just pick one. You can do leg lifts or you can do crunches. We just want to make it work for you, but we don't stop moving. And rest one more set of these jackknives. Woo! Good guys, seven more seconds of rest and then one more set of jackknives. Here we go. If you need 
toes have to be straight. We're not looking for pointed toes and straight legs, anything like that. We're just targeting our abs. Woo! Keep it up, keep it up. This should be really hard. Woo! Yeah, like I said, not a cardio day, but still hard. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, next we're going into that lying sub scat retraction. So we're going to be on our And we're going to go up with our torso. Pull those elbows back, lats down, shoulder blades together. Bringing our back forward and lying back down. We're just going to keep doing that over and over and over. Here we go. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. You don't need to come too high off the ground, just a couple inches is fine. Stay strong, stay strong. Really pay attention to which muscles you're using. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guys, we're going to do that two more times. So, again, you want to make sure that those lats are engaging, those shoulder blades in between your shoulder blades, all those rhomboids and everything are squeezing. Woo! It's a really good exercise for shoulder and back stability. We're going again in three, two, one. Let's go. If you can't quite do it laying down, you can find the same feeling standing up. You just have to squeeze. Even a little more if it means it's standing up. Nothing should be relaxed here. Even though we're lifting the torso, the whole posterior chain, your butt and your hamstrings, all that should still be engaged, including your abs. Your abs should still be engaged here. I know they're probably exhausted, but we gotta keep going. A couple more seconds, guys. Five, four, all the way. Three, one more, two, one, and rest. Good, good, good. Rest, we're gonna do it one more time. One more time. Woo. Couple more seconds of rest. We're going to do it again. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good, guys. Really pulling. Those shoulder blades down and back, keeping that neck super long. Drive those elbows down. Last set of these. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. We got less than 10 seconds. Woo. Good, guys. Next, we got our moving plank. So, again, we're in a plank on the floor. High plank, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, down, down, up, up, keeping those hips square. We don't want to be twisting in that plank. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. If you need to widen your feet a little bit to help with that stability, that's totally okay. Don't let your head drop too far down. Less than 15, guys. This is kind of a little bit of cardio, but it's still really a good strength workout. And I know we do this one almost every every workout, but I just love it. A couple more seconds. Good, guys. Rest, rest, rest. We're going to do that two more times. That moving plank. Plank up, down. So that you're going to call them. Johnny C's. I've heard them called Johnny C's before. Woo. Take a deep breath. We're going in five. Four, three, two, let's go. And try not to drop onto those elbows. Try and control your way down. No harsh bumps. Keep those abs engaged, but down. But don't sway your back. We don't want that. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, guys. 
Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Good job, guys. We're gonna do that again. Oh. Woo! Doing great. Take a little rest. Kick it out. This is kind of your full body work here. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Again, try and keep those hips as stable as you can. And keep a consistent tempo, consistent speed. The best you guys want, you got less than 15 seconds left. This is the last time doing moving planks. And you're not going to see him again for the rest of today's workout. And rest, guys. All right, we're going to do those hip thrusters. So grab your backpack. You can do these with your feet on the floor or on a coffee table, whatever you would like. We're going to put the bag on our hips. And we're going to do those hip thrusters or butt ups, glute bridges. So we're going to call them here in a couple seconds. Woo. And go, 35 seconds. Keeping your weight in your heels, driving from your hamstring and your glutes. Fast up, slow down. Fast up, slow down. Woo. Stay strong. On the floor, you know, your coffee table to be deep. Just a little bit of weight, making it a little harder. And rest. So, I think what I'm going to do for this next set is I'm going to do it on one leg on the floor instead of two legs on the coffee table. Just to get a little bit of extra engagement for my hamstring. So, it's my choice. You're welcome to try it with me. But I'm going to do one leg this next time. We're going less than five. Woo! There we go. One, I'm going to do one leg. It's a little bit of a challenge. Still trying to keep the weight in my heel. And now I've got this extra weight on my hips. Ooh, Ooh my hips are on fire. My glutes. Rest. Okay, last set. I'm gonna do it on the other leg now. You guys, you guys here. Really make sure that you're trying not to use your low back or anything. Keep everything in your glutes and your hamstrings. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to keep that tempo of the fast up. We slow down. So that everything is controlled. Keep your weight in your heels. Squeeze your glutes to the top, especially if you're, if you're doing single leg. You're still squeezing both of your glutes, not just the one that's working. And again, keeping that core tight. Yes. All right. Good job, guys. Oh my goodness. Next, we've got flip kicks. Woo! So we're going to be on our back still, still on our back, keeping your head off the ground, shoulders off the ground, and the feet are kicking back and forth, almost like we're swimming. Here we go. Okay, keep those abs strong. This doesn't have to be fast. It does need to be controlled. Good guys, keep it up, keep it up. If you can, keep that head off the ground. Woo! If you need to, go ahead and put your head down and just keep kicking, keep kicking. For three, two, one, rest. Good guys, we're gonna do that two more times. And five, four, three, thumb kicks, two. Here we go again. It's a 
okay if you feel just a little bit of your hip flexors because you are using your hip flexors. Obviously, we want to feel the most of it in our low abs. So if you're not feeling it, try and adjust to a different position where you do feel it. But keep everything lifted, lifted, lifted. And rest. Good, guys. One more set of those flutter kicks. It's only 35 seconds of work. Not too bad. And we got nice, long, 20-second rest. <laughs> Last set of flutter kicks, though. Woo! Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Oh, God. Wow. Good. Less than 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. This is the last set of flutter kicks. Click, click, click. Ain't nobody face it in my click, click. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Keep strong. As I look around, they don't do it like my click, 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 click. And you need to even place your hands behind your thighs for just a little bit of effort. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I tell a map, do whatever I say. My block behind me like I'm coming out the Ooh, and rest. Good job, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, now we're gonna do those front and lateral raises. So grab those water bottles. We're going eight seconds. Front and lateral raises. Front and side raises. In three, one. Here we go. So even in these, your posture should be uh, tail down, tucked a little bit, lower abs lifted, nice and strong base. I would still recommend keeping that slight bend in your knees just for stability's sake. We don't need to lock it out. Using a water ball in front and side. Not any higher than your shoulder height. And keep a slight bend in your elbows as well. So working our shoulder muscles here. And rest. Good, we're gonna do that two more times. Shake it out. The shoulders fatigue quick. I'm about y'all, but my water bottles feel kind of heavy today. You can't be talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking the bar. We born in the family tree. The music, drug dealer, cousin, they not going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Front and side raises. Again, keeping everything tight and engaged. But down, abs in. Slight bend in your elbows. Keep those shoulders back. Don't let them run forward. We often forget to work our shoulders, but they're so important. You don't realize how much you use your shoulders on a daily basis. Five more seconds. Woo! I don't know about y'all, my shoulders are burning a little bit. One more set of these. Shake it out, relax. I feel it. I feel it, my shoulders are burning. All right, we're going in three, two, last set of front and lateral raises. Whew. After this, we're going to do those hollow hold punches. The shoulders are a small muscle, so it really doesn't take a lot of weight for you to feel them. You know, a lot of people think they need to be using 20 pound weights, but honestly, four pounds are <laughs> just as good. Less than 10. Remember, like I said, after this, we're doing those hollow hold punches. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, going into those hollow hole punches, we're going to be back in that hollow, almost a V or U sit, rather, I guess. You can't really use it. We're going to be punching the ceiling. I know we just worked our shoulders. We're going to keep that burn a little bit longer. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Hollow hole punches. Kind of like we're doing those flutter kicks again, but we're not moving our legs. Well, we're trying not to. I'm trying to keep things pretty low to the ground. We don't want to be too high up. It's too easy. We want to make it challenging for ourselves. Again, if your hip flexors are bugging you on this, cross your ankles and turn your knees up just a little bit. And just to keep active, just punch the sky. Those eyes up, chest proud. 
We're going to do that two more times. I know my abs are on the fire. We have a lot of abs today. If I didn't mention this earlier, there is no water break in today's work. Keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, one. Hollow up punches. Woo! Punch to the tempo. That could be fun. Okay. Okay, time. Well, some 15, guys. Stay strong, stay strong. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. One more set of those. I hope the song stays. We can keep up, keep up that tempo. We're going in at three, two, one, let's go. We have our last set of hollow hook punches, guys. Make it count. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Woo! Now for this, we got protein lunges. Three, couple more. Two, couple more. One. And rest. Okay, guys, grab that back hack, stand on up. Like I said, 13 lunges, keeping those feet parallel. Take that foot back, spine down so your knee almost touches the ground. Come back up. We're going in five, four, three, two. Here we go, 13 lunges. I think I'm going to use my pack. Say hello to the world, Walter. Twenty more seconds. My cat raised a little over sixteen pounds. Last I checked. He's a big boy. Five more seconds. Good boy. All right, good guys. All right, bye. Say bye, Walter. Bye. All right, guys, two more so please, two more sets. Two more sets. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Yeah, again, keeping your butt to the ball. Your chest can be a little bit forward, please. But we're again shooting for the hamstrings and the glutes. Couple more seconds, guys. Five more seconds. Give me a couple more good ones. One more good one. And guys, we're gonna do that one more time. Yeah, no giving up early. That's not allowed. We got one more set of these curtsy lunges. Three, two, one, last for the curtsy lunges. Really make sure you're standing up from your quad, from your hamstring and your butt. Your quads will be used a little bit, but try and switch your focus to the backs of your legs. Even your adductors a little bit. One more good one, everyone. And rest. All right, guys, next we're going to be going to those down dog toe touches. Oh, my goodness. Down dog toe touches. So we're going to plank, and then take your hips up, step your toe, back to the plank, take your hips up, step your toe. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Opposite line, two foot. Woo. 
my rushing knees. Make sure you come back to a full plank each time. Keep your shoulders back, chest proud. Don't let the head drop. And rest. Two more sets of the same thing, guys. Resting, resting, take a deep breath. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Strong again. Not using our momentum, but using our muscles. Oh, never mind, don't keep it up. Go ahead and rest. <laughs> we got one more set of these down dog toe touches. And three, two, one, last set. Here we go. today. A couple more guys. Give me a couple good more. Four, three, two, one. Rest. All right, guys, we're going to go into that neutral grip chest press. So using your backpack or something, something heavy. We're going to go flat on our back. Keep those palms facing each other. And we're going to do chest press. This isn't going to be all that hard. It's not supposed to be, but it's a good Things to keep everything activated. This one, you actually want to pick up the tempo a little bit. Unless you do have something really heavy. But if you do not, we do want to do it a little bit on a faster tempo. And even while you're playing here, keeping those abs engaged, this is our last this is exercise number 13 out of 14. And rest. Good, guys. You should sort of feel that in, you, in your pecs a little bit, especially at the front of your shoulders. Um, kind of goal. Yeah. We're going to do it again in a couple seconds. Those palms together, elbows in there, elbows so close to your body. If you struggle with push ups like I do, this is a really great exercise. I help practice those push ups, especially keeping those elbows together or narrow. Keep them close to your side, shoulders down, away from the neck. I'm starting to feel a little bit. Oh no, stop guys. Sorry, my computer shut off. And I'll let you guys rest for a second. Just rest, 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 rest. I'm sorry, my computer shut off. I was wondering when the timer was going to stop. My bad, y'all. We're going to take another uh, eight seconds. Six, five, four, three. Last set of neutral grip chest press. Here we go. I'm sorry, guys. 
Good right, guys, less than 30 seconds left in this new little workshop circle. Exercise 13 out of 14. We're going to go into exercise number 14, our last one. There's crab fish. So you can come again the couch to the coffee table, but we are just going to kick our feet forward. If you can't jump, you can just step and kick. Three, two, one, here we go. So just to be a little silly and another workout on a on a goofy note. The glutes, we want to keep all those things strong. This is using all of those muscles. Ten more seconds. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah. Hopefully, this makes you laugh a little bit. I feel kind of silly doing it, but it's such a good exercise. I can use a little bit of extra you can do it on the couch. You can hop it on the floor, you can do it on the elevator, too. We're going to do it again here in a couple seconds. Two more steps, please. Let's go. Yeah, this is also a little bit of cardio. Couple more seconds, couple more seconds. And rest. Last set of crowd things, guys. This is our last 35 seconds of our workout. Turn the music down. Oops, maybe too far. That's okay. All right, guys, we are done with our workout. Thank you so much for joining me. I know today isn't supposed to be as hard as those hit workouts that we do on Thursdays, but you can bet on Thursday we're gonna have a really, really good hit workout for you guys. Um, again, here on Facebook at 10:30 a.m. Not to 15, but 10:30. This an extra 15 minutes to wake up. Um, and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of that later today. Feel free um, and make sure you're following us on Instagram. Because the last day taking over the Instagram. So be sure to log on and follow me around throughout my day. Um, I try um, and post some interesting things for y'all. But if you guys have any feedback about this workout, please feel free to message me. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you guys Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Happy Cinco de Mayo and have a good day. Bye-bye.